Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, this is a very small video on, we can say like cost optimization on AKS. Uh, a part is about cost optimization, but if we talk about a lab perspective, it is uh, how to stop the Kubernetes cluster because there are situations where we don't want cluster to be running 24 seven like development uh, environment which is used during business hours and this leads to idle time for your AKS uh, and you will be paying for that you can reduce the cluster footprint by scaling all the user node pool to zero we have already seen the scaling right uh, and i did talk about the zero in one of the lab uh, that we used but your system pool is still required to run the system components while the cluster is running uh, I think we discussed about the node pool in our very first uh, lab and even on the Kubernetes playlist that we already have done a few months back. So uh, it is the node pool that I'm, the system pool we differentiated, we talked about the node pool. So uh, node pool is a node of same configuration group together, same uh, uh, configured configuration VM group together. These node, uh, contains the uh, computer, the virtual machine that runs the application for our pods. And these node pool are of two types, system and user. So system pool hosts the critical uh, system pool, system pods such as code, DNS, and metric server. Uh, if you remember when we were talking about HPA or auto scaling, we did mention the metric server. And user node pool hosts the application pods. However, application pods can be scheduled on system pool, system node pool, if you wish to have only one pool in your AKS cluster. Even MS recommends uh, three nodes uh, for a single node pool cluster. So to optimize your cost further during, uh, during the period when your AKS cluster is idle for a long time, you can completely turn off uh, your cluster. This action will stop your control plane and agent nodes altogether, allowing you to save on all the compute cost while maintaining all your objects and cluster state stored until you need it again. And you can hold it, uh, you can preserve the state or hold the state for about 12 months. And uh, this is only supported in VMSS backed AKS cluster. So let's quickly go ahead and uh, run the command to stop this cluster, both the pools. Uh, so let me share my screen quickly and show that to you. All right, so I have uh, same infrastructure. This is the Kubernetes cluster running with a single node pool with uh, one node running at the back end nothing much and i'm logged in with the with the same command we we covered all those command az aks get credentials if i run kubectl get nodes you'll find a single node running here so uh, what we need to do we need to simply run az aks uh, stop stop what stop our cluster so we need to give the name of the cluster, right? It is cube zero one. And where it is residing, so we need to give the name of the group. It is demo RG. Okay. If I hit enter, it is going to stop the cluster the way we explained. It will save the cost and preserve the state. And also we can see once it once this command is uh, is is rain, it will give us the to also check the provisioning or or uh, the code would say stopped. So let's wait for a minute. Uh, once it is there, we can also run AZ AKS. Uh, let me let, let, let's let me pause it until it rains. All right, there we go. It says easy provisioning state succeeded. So we are good. It is in this stopped state now. 
And if I'll minimize this, go back here, refresh it. I'm just trying to explore what happens when we uh, run this command because we do not have anything. We have connect delete here on the on the portal, right? Uh, so let me go ahead, click on the node pool. It is zero now. That this is what uh, is being taken care of, right? It just move uh, after saving the state. It just uh, remove all the all the instances. If you go back to home, go to the resource groups. Uh, you need to check. This is the resource group created by Kubernetes for us. If I go to the VMSs, it would have. If you're guessing zero, then you are right there is no instance running even if you go to the overview you'll find zero by zero that means nil so this is this is a very small video but you understand the uh, information this is very must and very good information especially when you are talking to the customer and proposing the aks cluster and customer is a more uh, cost saving kind you know and cost always matters so thank you for watching and uh, you have a good day take care